Hello everyone, welcome to this milestone number two. Uh, this is the introduction, so we're going to talk about what we're going to build for this week. Uh, thank you all for uh, the past comment inside the, all the other video in the milestone one. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know again in the comment how you feel about all this video and at least that you learn. <laughs> uh, so in this milestone, it's going to be about the authentication part. And um, I'm planning to do the OAuth part authentication in this milestone, going back to React Native, doing all the stuff after that, adding feature to the application, and maybe come back with the username password uh, login because I find on the web so many uh, tutorials with Alexa about building password and email authentication, but I really never uh, find one with the Facebook authentication or Google or something like that. So that's why I'm going to build that for now. So for today, uh, not today, but in this milestone, we're going to create a OAuth login with Facebook. Why I use Facebook, first thing, Instagram is built by Facebook, and this is the one is built inside the real Instagram app. And I think Facebook, it's pretty like used. And they have a really nice SDK to work with, with React Native. So after that, we're going to create an account context. So like we did with the... Uh, photo in the post context, we're going to build another context called icon. It's going to be everything about the user and information and stuff like this, authentication and blah, blah, blah. After that, we're going to Facebook, uh, set up a Facebook application. Uh, I don't know if you know that, but when you create uh, 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 an application and you want to have an OAuth uh, with Facebook example, you need to create a, uh, an application inside Facebook where you're going to have your app ID and secret and stuff like that. So this way, Facebook know uh, who do this where they, with their application. After that, we're going to write kind of a service inside the server uh, where we're going to finally uh, be able to log the user and get the user information. We're going to make use of an awesome library I'm going to show you. After that, we're going to create or get a user on log. So when a user is going to log in, if the user don't exist yet, we're going to create it. If it exists, we're going to uh, login in. We're going to do the uh, login part for the server with uh, GWT and I'm going to make use of Guardian for that. After that, in the front end, we're going to add the Facebook SDK to React Native. So this is a way for you to open the Facebook application right inside your mobile phone where you can make the user log just by clicking continue with their phone. So again, think about the UX here, the user experience here. When the user click on Facebook log, Open Facebook, just click continue, that's it. You give uh, what we need. You're going to give us the user profile, user email, and stuff like that. And after that, we're going to be able to log in React Native and save the GWT token in async storage. So before we go, two things we're going to make use is the Facebook EX uh, for Elixir. So it's a Facebook wrapper for the GraphQL, uh, not GraphQL, but Graph API wrapper for Elixir. Look at that. <laughs> You do Facebook.me and you put your access token, get first name, you're going to get your first name right there. And that's, <laughs> when I've seen that, that was, man, oh, that blew my mind. It's crazy. After that, we're going to make use of the React Native F, uh, Facebook SDK. So this is the FDK built by uh, the Facebook team. And this is the official one. So uh, you see they have many uh, uh, commit. It's always active. Really easy to install. Uh, again, it's the only place is not quite easy just on the Android part but we're gonna see that and finally the way that's gonna work it's we're gonna make use of a uh, logging manager and we're gonna receive after that uh, an access token and that's it it's gonna be pretty simple so I hope you have enjoyed the first milestone I hope you're gonna enjoy more this second milestone and why not start right now I hope everyone have a good week so far and we talk later bye